My name is Amy with 3D Systems and we're here at IMSH 2019. Uh, we're showcasing some of our new products and one being the Angio Mentor Suite with our basic skills. We have endovascular basic skills, cardio basic skills, EP basic skills, and C-arm. And we also have now incorporated a TEE into the mannequin. The next new product that we are launching here is the TEE Express. It's a T scope with the system, and it tells you basically how to capture all 28 views in um, TEE. And if you are correct, it will tell you, and if you're incorrect, it'll tell you. We also have where you can rotate this and all the standard views there. We have a ghost probe, and we have to line our probe up to that one. So what I'm showing you here is the anatomy is actually labeled so that they know what um, anatomy should be inside the view they're capturing, and the system will teach you how to capture all 28 view, eight views, and then on the task two, you can go back and label them. We also have a re, uh, normal patient, and then in addition to that, we have a lot of pathologies. Another new product is our Arthromentor Express system. Um, it's portable, and you can do knee, hip, shoulder, and all the fast basic skills on it. This is a slap repair. So I'm basically doing diagnostic of the knee before I enter with my tool. This system is a haptic system. Um, you can do basic skills and full procedures and I actually feel what I'm doing here. Our next new product is interventional ultrasound. So we have our needle and our probe and um, we're in a step-by-step -step case that's basically asking me to um, find the pleural effusion assessment, and I step on the pedal and it lights up green for me there. Now I'm placing the needle, and I'm gonna start my puncture, and you'll see the needle There it is, that little dot. And now we can start our suction. So all of our systems run on MentorLearn, which is our simulation management system. And in the end of any case that you do, you'll get feedback. It'll take screenshots, and basically you can set the benchmarks to assess how the um, trainee did. You can set them up on a pass-fail. You can always um, go back and play back video and um, download it and play it in a training environment to, for others to learn from as well.